back in tonight's Hiring Hoosiers. The latest on Eli Lilly's decision to not to build a new $470 million pharmaceutical manufacturing plant here in Indiana. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker is here to explain why the Indiana-based company went with a different location. Cornelius. Yeah, Amanda, the spokesperson of Eli Lilly says it came down to three states, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. They chose Durham, North Carolina for several reasons. They told us Durham met their qualifications for cost of operations, quality of life, and the ability to attract and retain a skilled workforce. Average pay for the jobs is uh, average pay for the 462 jobs at the plant will be right around $72,000 with entry level positions starting at $50,000. And for choosing Durham as the location for this facility, Eli Lilly could receive right around $12 million in incentives if they meet hiring and investment goals. Once the facility is up and running, they will focus on creating two medications for diabetes. And Cornelius, that's great for the people living in North Carolina, but what about everyone here that was hoping to get those jobs? Yeah, those are the questions we've been asking them. Now, back in November, it was announced that Eli Lilly invested $400 million in its manufacturing facilities at the Lilly Technology Center here in Indy, creating almost 100 jobs. Now, we talked to the Indiana Economic Development. That's the state's lead agency for trying to get businesses here, and they painted a road your picture of the situation saying that any growth for Lilly is beneficial to Indiana. Okay, thank you Cornelius for that. And because we are focused on getting Hoosiers like you jobs, we are continuing to follow up with Eli Lilly along with the governor and mayor of Indianapolis to see how our area can make sure it does not miss out on projects like this. We'll be right back.